Today, we are going to continue nanotechnology video. We will start with take a look for applications of nanotechnology. There are many innovative applications for nanotechnology such as energy, medicine and drugs, nano devices, nanobiotechnology, optical engineering, defense and security, cosmetics, bioengineering, and nanofabrics. Nanotechnology Applications First, nanotechnology in drugs cancer, provide new options for drug delivery and drug therapies. Enable drugs to be delivered to precisely the right location in the body and release drug doses on a predetermined schedule for optimal treatment. Attach the drug to a nano-sized carrier. They become localized at the disease site, i.e. cancer tumor. Then they release medicine that kills the tumor. Current treatment is through radiotherapy or chemotherapy. Nanobots can clear the blockage in arteries. Second, nanotechnology in fabrics. The properties of familiar materials are being changed by manufacturers who are adding nano-sized components to conventional materials to improve performance. For example, some clothing manufacturers are making water and stain repellent clothing using nano-sized whiskers in the fabric that cause water to beat up on the surface. In manufacturing bulletproof jackets, making spill and dirt resistant, antimicrobial, antibacterial fabrics. Third, nanotechnology in mobile. The properties of familiar materials are being changed by manufacturers who are adding nano-sized components to conventional materials to improve performance. The morph will be super hydrophobic making it extremely dirt repellent. It will be able to charge itself from available light sources using photovoltaic nanowire grass covering its surface. Nanoscale electronics also allow stretching. Nokia envisaged that a nanoscale mesh of fibers will allow our mobile devices to be bent, stretched and folded into any number of conceivable shapes. Fourth, nanotechnology and electronics. Electrodes made from nanowires enable flat panel displays to be flexible as well as thinner than current flat panel displays. Nanolithography is used for fabrication of chips. The transistors are made of nanowires that are assembled on glass or thin films of flexible plastic. E-paper, displays on sunglasses and map on car windshields. Fifth, nanotechnology in computers. The silicon transistors in your computer may be replaced by transistors based on carbon nanotubes. A carbon nanotube is a molecule in form of a hollow cylinder with a diameter of around a nanometer which consists of pure carbon. Size of the microprocessors are reduced to greater extent. Nanorods is upcoming technology in the displays techniques due to less consumption of electricity and less heat emission. Hewitt Packard is developing a memory device that uses nanowires coated with titanium dioxide. One group of these nanowires is deposited parallel to another group. When a perpendicular nanowire is laid over a group of parallel wires, at each intersection a device called a memristor is formed. A memristor can be used as a single component memory cell in an integrated circuit. By reducing the diameter of the nanowires, researchers believe memristor memory chips can achieve higher memory density than flash memory chips. Magnetic nanowires made of an alloy of iron and nickel are being used to create dense memory device. Chips produced by Intel before i-series processors were between 65 nanometers minus 45 nanometers. Later with the help of nanotechnology 22 nanometers chips were made which itself is a milestone. Advantages of using carbon nanotubes Faster and smaller carbon nanotubes can be used to produce smaller and faster components. This will also result in computers that consume less energy. High speed and high capacity memory. Allows circuits to be more accurate on the atomic level. 
other uses. Cutting tools made of nanocrystalline materials, such as tungsten carbide, tantalum carbide and titanium carbide, are more wear and erosion resistant, and last longer than their conventional counterparts. Silver nanocrystals have been embedded in bandages to kill bacteria and prevent infection. Nanoparticulate-based synthetic bone, formed by manipulating calcium and phosphate at the molecular level. Aerogel's lightest known solid due to good insulating properties is used in space suits and are proposed to use in spacecraft. Thank you for watching. Please support us with like, share and subscribe.